We want rain. This is a critical time. Popcorn episode three, buttering the popcorn. All right, so we're not really buttering the popcorn, but what are we doing? We're doing what's called a side dress. So we're putting down nitrogen fertilizer and hydrous ammonia, in this case, between the rows of corn after it's up and growing. And here you'll see it going right between the rows. So now we're underneath and you can kind of see it works really like a drill or an air seeder. We'll just put on fertilizer instead of seed. We can put it on this time of year instead of all ahead. That way maybe we avoid any heavy spring rains that might wash that nitrogen out of the soil profile. Okay, time to switch wagons. Just ran this one about out. So I'm gonna bleed that hose off, take that wagon off, hook up to that one. I think that'll be enough to finish this field. There goes Becky. Becky works at CFS. That's where the wagon comes from. So, shut the tank off. And then I'll shut my supply hose off. Normally do this with both hands, but running the camera with one. Rubber gloves on for safety. And then I got to bleed off the connection and the wind is kind of, well, it just kind of shifted. Bleeder. Bleed off there. There you go. Tighten that back up. And take this off, which I can't really do one-handed. Hose wrapped up temporarily. Hitch pin out, pull away, hook up the other wagon. Now this, I can pull that out. This hitch on the applicator will slide back, oh, a foot and a half maybe, and go side to side and help me hook up. Handy camera aimed at the hitch. I can see from the cab. Another camera there. That's so I can see traffic behind me when I'm on the road. So menu, video, it's a traffic view, hitch view. Say bye to that wagon. Camera always looks closer than you are. Oh, maybe first try. That's always good. I have to extend hitch a little bit. That's pretty close. Now just something I do for myself, I leave the camera up when I get out, so if I do extend the hitch, that reminds me to back up like that and lock it. The hitch drops down, I just don't want to do it this time, there it goes. Okay, fast forward almost three weeks past side dress. All that side dress stuff, that was June 3rd. Today is June 22nd, so the popcorn has grown quite a bit. What haven't we had? We haven't had rain. We've had a half an inch of rain this month and it's just been pretty dry. It's been hot and it's been windy. We are hoping it rains tonight. We had some rain way up north past US 24 last night, got two tenths of an inch. It's like the biggest rain we've had this month. And the popcorn here at the house has been doing quite well. It hasn't been showing much heat stress. I got a, a corner up behind the barn that was rolled up pretty tight the other day. When you see these leaves roll up in a cornfield, or maybe it kind of has like a bluish silver tint to it, that is the corn trying to protect itself from heat. And we haven't had that problem yet. Luckily, we've been lower temperatures at night. The corn unrolls, gets a chance to rest at night. If you wake up in the morning and see rolled up corn, looks like pineapples, that's really bad. But we have been having some heat stress. Other than that though, the popcorn is looking really nice out here. It's kind of finding the nitrogen now, it's getting that darker green color to it. And actually, if we would look behind here, let me flip the camera around. 
It is raining over there. There is a sheet of rain coming down over by town. So I don't farm anything over there. So we got winds out of the south, so which would be behind me right now. So supposedly some more stuff is gonna stir up tonight, but we are pretty dry right now. <laughs> There's some thunder, so that's a good sign. Maybe it's good I'm, I'm out here taking this video. Maybe I'll get wet doing it. It'd be worth it. And it's kind of funny comparing 2020 to 2019. I've seen other people say this. We were a month, six weeks behind planting in 19 compared to 20. 2019 planting was pretty late. We planted the last of our corn uh, June 1st through the 3rd last year. So when I was side dressing this, I was finishing planting last year. But the height, yeah, we're all that knee high by 4th of July. We're into that stage, of course, and we got another couple weeks to go to 4th of July. But man, you'd think we got planted end of April, beginning of May. This stuff would be like shoulder high by now. But until the last couple of weeks, we have been really, really cool and just not accumulating heat units. If you want to see how dry we are, we're not just, you know, terrible yet. This isn't 2012 where we haven't had any rain. I think this field has had three inches since we planted it April 28th, I believe. But if we look down here, I dug this hole with the spade. I mean, that's dry up here. It's pretty dry. Get down here, we can start seeing some moisture. What this field does have going for it is this barrier of last year's wheat straw. So at least that is keeping the sun from directly beating down on a lot of this. Not all of it, you can see it's, it's bare over here, but then we've got spots with really good coverage and that definitely helps us out. That rain shower is expanding over there. I like to see that. Boy, I'd really love to get like a couple of inches, but you know, I'd take whatever we can get at this point. We've got a really good crop growing so far, so boy, it'd be nice to water it. <laughs> it's, actually, it's raining on me right now, so that's good. Maybe it'll get a bunch of rain tonight. Let's really hope so. Let's see if I can dig one up here. And it is hard, though. There we go. Here's some roots tearing there. There is moisture in there, but there is not much. There is not much in there. I'm gonna clean it up. And I did see some roots back in that other hole. We can look at that. This guy's already putting on some brace roots. That's the first of those I've seen. I can actually see a few more going under the ground there. They're not quite above ground. They're just kind of poking out. Let's look back in that hole though. There are corn roots here in this hole I dug. So they are reaching down and reaching over from the row. So there's the corn. And you can see right there is my track from side dress. So it's reaching over here. Like I said, it is getting into the nitrogen. Let's do check on that rain again. It's getting darker. It's not raining on me here anymore though. Just uh, a couple of drops there got excited, but hopefully we get some more storms tonight. I think it's actually supposed to be maybe after sunset. So a couple hours yet on that. If we want to stage this popcorn, look at the exposed leaf collars. One, two, three, say four there. So we're almost into V5. There's one down here kind of torn off. I wouldn't count that one though. When we get around to that six leaf stage, actually inside the plant, the ear is already forming. So it's gonna do a division. And at that time, we're gonna decide how many maximum kernels we could have to be pollinated. So here shortly, these are gonna decide how many kernels of popcorn they could potentially make. So that's why we want good conditions now. We want rain. This is a critical time for this crop to really decide what it's gonna do, at least set its potential. Of course, we need more conditions. Going into pollination, pollination will be the next critical time where we really don't want heat stress. You know, a couple of inches of rain there and not blazing hot temperatures would be great. One other thing we can do to show you how dry it is, who wants to look at my septic tank? That's what you wanted to see when you clicked on this video, right? This just occurred in the last couple of days. Can you tell where my septic tank is? And this has been going on. I haven't been mowing the yard either because I didn't want to stress it out any more than necessary. See the green strips there? 
those are the fingers for the septic. That one's green all the way through. This one's partially green. And then you got three more that are just brown and dry on top of the septic. So yeah, we are dry. We're definitely dry. Go rain, go. You're heading the right direction. You're headed towards my sandy farms. So that is good. They're what got hit last night. They could use another hit. Quick things around the house. A couple of tomatoes there. A few sweet pepper plants. You get the grass picked out of there. And I got kind of a corn garden going over here. Most of it came up really well. So these last few rows are broom corn. We got glass gym corn. We got Indian corn, blue corn, and didn't come up too well here on the end, the Japanese holeless popcorn. We also think it's gotten dry enough that the barn wood is shrinking because I keep finding this door open and it won't latch. The latch no longer reaches that catch there. I got some wildflowers growing here. Just did a patch on the corner of the barn, tossed out a wildflower mix, just something fun to look at. These first two rows are sweet corn, so that'll be for us to mess around with. And how about a planting fail? Because I do screw up sometimes. We got the planter all cleaned out to plant popcorn and started right here, you know, on the edge of the house. I did the two rows of sweet corn. We loaded up with popcorn and then came back and did the other 22 rows on this pass. This row is looking a little different though. Get this weed out of there. So what's, what's up here? So if we go back to the end of this row, so I'm walking in the opposite direction of planting right now. Get back here, and there will be a pile of popcorn back here. Yeah, so whoever cleaned the planter out, that being me, didn't snap the meter back on row 11 fully, and as soon as I turned around, went back and planted popcorn, the meter fell off. So I went 50 feet or so there with uh, no meter on and dumped about a full bag of popcorn in that row. At the fancy weather station behind the house this year too, so it, it's telling me it's not raining, which is obvious. But what also has been interesting to watch is it has four sensors in the ground, actually eight, I guess, for moisture and temperature at two inches, five inches, 10 inches, and 15 inches. And the top two on dryness are really starting to pull away from the bottom two. Well, I think we are getting something on some other farms up there by now, probably. Well, I'm gonna head back inside now. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna tell you if it rained here tonight or not in the next one, or maybe maybe before I post this, it will rain and I can tack it onto the end of this one. Come on, Ryan, you can do it. Come on, Ed. It's raining, finally. Yeah. Look at the porch right here behind you. Yeah, the porch is getting wet. Yay, the crops, the crops. Oh, it's finally raining. The crops are winning? Yeah. <laughs> my phone, my I don't phone, know how much it's going to rain. My phone says um, it's supposed to rain like this for like until 3 in the morning. Is it, how many, is that thing that will be over an inch? It's so cool Probably. Here. We'll just see what happens. I can hear it on the barn. Yeah, off can the I metal roof. Well, I wonder how it sounds like inside the barn. We can see it by this um, spotlight thing. Yep. Well, this is going to be a good soaker, it looks like. Just been raining steadily for over an hour now. No wind or anything, just straight down, soaking in, perfect. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you got any popcorn questions, leave me a comment. That would be awesome. We'll talk about popcorn. I'm gonna call this video wrapped up and we're gonna let this corn grow some more, hopefully in some wetter conditions. Check back on it again soon.